White House is criticizing the Obama administration's decision to stop testing at the height of a swine flu pandemic. As mainstream media is trying to accuse President Trump of possibly doing that as well, when America's Christian Rose has this report. Under Obama, Biden quotes, and this is CBS reporting, CDC abruptly advised states to stop testing for H1N1 flu and stop counting individual cases. Democrat alarmism over coronavirus is starting to backfire amid the latest debates of pandemic response. On Thursday, the White House pointed out the Obama administration was suppressing statistics on the swine flu outbreak back in 2009 and put economic considerations above public health concerns. So while this president served testing under the Obama administration, they stopped testing entirely. Uh, and Ron Klain, Vice President Biden's former chief of staff, said this, it is purely a fortuity that H1N1 isn't one of the great mass casualty events in American history. At in 2009, America happened to be in a situation very similar to now. An unknown new virus came from China, infecting and killing people by the thousands, and no one knew what to do about it. However, the response by the media, administration officials and health institutions was very different than today. First, Obama officials conducted only 76 and a half thousand tests in five months between May and October 2009, compared to 45 million COVID tests done by President Trump in five months between February and July 2020. Second, Obama at the time was comparing swine flu to regular flu and discussing immunity. Why is this different from other flu? Uh, we don't know. You have uh, over 36,000 people die uh, on average every year from seasonal flus. But when President Trump made similar remarks about COVID-19, he was crucified by Democrat media. And if you look at the flu, the flu for this year, we're, eight, we're, we're looking at 8,000 deaths. As a result, most of the data on swine flu was buried in seasonal flu statistics, attributing only 274,000 hospitalizations and 12,500 deaths to H1N1. It wasn't until years later that the CDC admitted the U.S. had a total of 60 million cases of swine flu. But insufficient testing at the time allowed for a reduction of the official numbers of swine flu deaths, whereas today the entire a healthcare machine appears to inflate the number of COVID casualties. Anyone who had a, COVID, a positive COVID-19 test and died, even though that might not have been listed as the cause of death on their death certificate, we include that. And that is actually the best scientific way to look at uh, deaths related to COVID-19. And then there is Dr. Anthony Fauci. In recent weeks, Fauci faced rife criticism for his calls to keep in place economic lockdowns and COVID quarantines indefinitely. But back in 2009, he had a different view. You can't isolate yourself from the rest of the world for the whole flu season, but use some good judgment in that. In this light, it appears that government officials and the media downplayed the swine flu pandemic to make Obama look good, while today the Democrat machine is amplifying COVID-19 to discredit President Trump and sway upcoming elections. The effects of political decisions to public health are still up for debate. We didn't pause testing. The Obama-Biden administration did, and that was a shameful decision. Thank you. Christian Rose. One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.